Welcome back to Through the Word and our walk through Holy Week. It's Monday. We're in Mark 11, and Jesus has come to Jerusalem, the King to His kingdom, and we are following His footsteps. Speaking of following, have you ever tried to follow a story that lost the plot? It started in one direction, then totally swerved off point. Sometimes God's people lose the plot. Yesterday, we saw Jesus lamenting over Jerusalem that they missed it. God told them what to watch for, and they missed it. Now, they had reminders. In fact, that's why Jerusalem was so full. The nation of Israel came together, as they did every year, for one huge reminder called Passover. At Passover, God called the Jews together each year to remember. Remember that God saved their lives, that he rescued them from slavery and death by the blood of a lamb. But then sometimes we can miss the point even when it's right in front of us. Now, Passover was Thursday, but preparation is already on at the temple. Jesus is on his way there with his disciples when he encounters a fig tree with no figs, only leaves. And in verse 14, he curses the fig tree. Really? Why? We'll have to come back to that. For now, Jesus is on the move, so let's catch up at verse 15. On reaching Jerusalem, Jesus entered the temple courts and began driving out those who were buying and selling there. He overturned the tables of the money changers and the benches of those selling doves and would not allow anyone to carry merchandise through the temple courts. The scene is intense. Here's what happened. The temple of God, the place of worship, sacrifice, and prayer, was overrun by a money-making scam set up by the very priests who were supposed to lead worship. When Jews tried to offer money, sorry, we only accept the temple shekel, which we'll exchange for a price. When Jews tried to offer a lamb, oh, sorry, there's a spot, but you can buy one of ours for a price. It was a racket, a mockery of faith in contempt of the temple, a scam that preyed on people's desire to worship God. Jesus clears them out, and this is the second time. He knocks down tables, sends coins flying, cracks the whip, and when Jesus finishes taking his stand, he stops to teach a little Bible study. Verse 17. And as he taught them, he said, Is it not written, My house will be called a house of prayer for all nations, but you have made it a den of robbers? See, God ordained the temple to be the place where he would dwell among his people. Prayer and fellowship for all nations were to be the hallmarks of his house. But sadly, the only hallmark here was greed. It still happens today. Now don't go turning over coffee tables or bookstore shelves in your church. The real issue is greed in the church, and it's as ugly today as it was then. Taking advantage of people's desire to worship in order to take their money is sin. Ugly, wicked, despicable sin. So did the priests repent? Nope. In verse 18, they began looking for a way to kill him, for they feared him because the whole crowd was amazed at his teaching. When evening came, Jesus and his disciples went out of the city. And that is Monday. Read Mark 11 and consider, have we lost the plot? Do you remember that fig tree that Jesus cursed? Well, down in verse 20, the disciples see it again. In the morning, as they went along, they saw the fig tree withered from the roots. See, that fig tree pictured Israel, God's people. From a distance, all the leaves looked good. Seemed like everything's cool, doing the religious thing. But when Jesus looked closely, there was no fruit. No love, no compassion, no genuine worship. The tree withered, notice, from the roots. That's how it happens. When you lose the plot, you can pretend for a while. Your leaves might look good, but your roots, the part that nobody sees, the place where your soul gets its nutrients, your roots wither. Without roots, the tree is hopeless. It can happen to us. Church on Easter can look a lot like the temple at Passover. A lot of religious people doing religious things but hearts and lives unaffected, unreached by the truth that we were bought by the blood of a lamb. As for you, read the story, follow his footsteps, and try not to lose the plot. Thanks for joining us for today's quick audio guide. You can find the full audio guide for this chapter and hundreds more on the Through the Word app and website. The app is free and free to share. So tell your friends and take the journey together. And remember, faith comes by hearing and hearing through the word.